December 2021, a young man visited me and he came to my studio, sat down right where I'm sitting down right now and said he wanted a great start is on this seat. As of then, he had about 2,000 subscribers, but today he's at 14,000 subscribers and has done over 1.6 million views and has made a whole lot of money on YouTube. Today, I am here also to learn from him, to know what he did right and how he have grown so far this is going to be a really interesting conversation especially if you are just starting out on youtube so you're about to be learning from a small youtuber a medium youtuber right how they did and how they are also growing their channel are you excited already so am i let's jump right into the video not at all so good to have you back in this I'm church. So I'm to be here. I don't care with your tight. <laughs> so um, it's good to have you back here, and Same I must here. say, well done on all your achievements. Truth, I've been following you from 10, 20, 30, and currently 40,000. I was even surprised to join his live video, and he was having over 100 views. You know, when I do live video, I only have one or two, <laughs> me and my wife. <laughs> so, and um, we are going to be learning a lot from you, both me yeah. and the viewers out there. We are both going to share our experiences and all of that, because we've always heard, you know, big YouTubers tell us their story. So it's good that we have people at 4,000, 8,000 share their story, how they are growing their channels, mm -hmm. right? So that, you know, both aspiring and people that already started can get inspired, right? So, quick one. Um, we first want to know your background and as well how you started your channel. All right, thank you so much for having me, Frederick. Yeah. I'm so excited to have you guys. Awesome. I'm so excited to be here, guys. So, yeah, you can. You know, it's almost your channel. So, <laughs> so basically, um, background-wise, I studied biochemistry in school and then started YouTube in 2020, August 2020, actually. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I started uploading videos to YouTube was because so I had these people I was doing business with, mm. it's an online business. Okay. So I needed to teach them some process and all of that. Okay. So I record tutorials and usually I'll send it to them on WhatsApp. So I just felt instead of sending it to everybody that comes in mm -hmm. directly on WhatsApp, let me just upload the videos to YouTube. Mm -hmm. okay. So I uploaded the video. I started uploading the videos to YouTube. Mm. But what happened was I discovered that more people were seeing the videos than the people I was sharing the video to okay. WhatsApp. That was when I discovered the potential YouTube. on YouTube and YouTube SEO, how you can reach a lot of people. Because actually, then before I could, you know, get to reach somebody new, I had yeah. to pay for ads. Wow. But I was uploading videos to YouTube, and people were discovering these videos Gang for me. Yeah. So. Wow. And from there on, I just started uploading and. Well, where we are today. Wow, wow, that's yeah. that's awesome. You know, it's almost like mine. You know, I yeah. I was just like, okay, you know, based on what we do, tutorials, yeah. smartphone editing, and stuff. So people always ask, how do I get this done? How do I? Yeah. So using YouTube to you know share upload videos those videos, create those videos, and just share with them yeah. was just the way we started off, and then the next thing it started becoming a big thing, and today yeah. it's a big brand, right? So well done, well Thank done. Thank you so much. Okay, so I've seen a lot of your content on digital business. I've seen on paper, I've seen on Facebook ads, I've seen on yeah. many importation, right? We've done yeah. on e-commerce as well, a whole lot on digital business. You guys, if you're not subscribed to his channel, I'm going to link it on the description down below, so you go check it out, right? It's it's amazing. Like his channel, his videos are almost like the courses that you pay for, right? Yeah. So um, Emmanuel, please tell us, how do you come up with ideas? Because I know you, you know, maintain that twice or once a week um, upload, yeah. right? You've been maintaining right now, that. three times a week. Three times a week, yeah. I'll be playing. <laughs> That's awesome. So how do you come up with ideas for your content? Okay, basically, at the first level, it's quite easy for me because mm -hmm. I create videos for online business people, people that want to make money online. And mm -hmm. this is what I do. So I know the kind of things people that want to make money online would want to learn. Like yeah. PayPal, I know that if you want to make money online, you yeah. need the PayPal yeah. account. Yeah. So I create tutorials like that, that will basically tutorials that online business people and these two marketers would need. So constantly, I'm asking myself, okay, what would these people like to learn? Okay. If somebody wants to build a successful online business, they'll need to learn how to maybe create websites yeah. and all of those kind of stuff. So that's the first way I come up with videos. Then the okay. second way is research. Okay. I do research because you cannot just create random videos yeah. out of your head. You have to be strategic, work with data. So yeah. I do research. Yeah, you guys, you guys, I made this very mistake that I just said right now for one year right for one year i was just creating randomly yeah. right and you know after i learned what he's about to say you know my channel to 
a new look right so just keep paying attention yeah yeah so basically for the research aspect there are different tools both free and paid that are very valuable when coming up with new ideas and one of my favorite tools is called vidiq okay right yeah and the reason why i like vidiq is because of the data you get to see so let's say i'm contemplating on a video mm -hmm. around facebook ad i could go to vidiq enter facebook ad mm -hmm. vidiq is going to tell me like the search volume the average monthly search volume mm -hmm. for that keyword because it's very important you are creating videos that people are going to watch yeah. so i want to make sure that there are people who will be there to watch the video in the first place so mm -hmm. i'll see the search volume yeah. i'll see the level of competition right yeah. so what are my chances of getting what is the chance of this video being seen by people yeah. And then I see all that related keywords that I get to use to brainstorm. That's one. Then another website that I use, very valuable, is called Answer the Copy. Oh, wow, and that's by Nel Patel. Yeah, Great. Nel Patel just acquired the company recently. I think sometime yeah. late last year. Yeah, I, I I think I remember when you were talking about acquiring, but yeah. I, I I don't really know the time, right? Yeah, but I know he owns the company is. right now. Yeah. So Answer the Copy is very valuable. Mm -hmm. Now. I'm creating videos, I want people to watch the videos, so mm -hmm. I want to be sure that the, my videos are actually answering what problems and solving people's needs. Mm -hmm. So with Answer the Public, I get to see the questions people are asking okay. about a particular topic. So mm -hmm. once you go to the website, enter, if I enter Facebook ad, for instance, I can select the location yeah. and then I get to see the most the questions people are asking the most about Facebook ad. Then I can create videos around that topic. And then since it's something that's that's a question that's already on your mind, they want to see it. So another tool is Google Trend, yeah. Google Keyword Planner. There are a lot of them. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like Google Trends. Like Google Google Trend is one of the ones that I personally use because yeah. of you know the demographic shows you in yeah. the countries that are most interested in the topic. Because if you do not know, um, when you get monetized on YouTube, the amount you're going to be making is also going to be determined by the country yeah, that is yeah. watching. <laughs> it's Nigeria that's only watching your video. I think the reason. What, what do you think is the reason why YouTube has this disparity in location? Okay, you know the way YouTube monetization works is advertisers pay YouTube, yeah, and YouTube pays you a certain percentage, a percentage yeah. yeah. The money advertisers are willing to pay for Nigerian audience mm -hmm. or some other countries, not as much as you know, yeah. from very hot countries. So that's the major reason that advertising um, difference. So I run ads to actually know if I'm to if I'm going an ad to maybe the US, it's going yeah. to cost me more mm -hmm. than going an ad to Nigeria. Nigeria, and because of competition, actually. Mm -hmm. So all of those factors yeah. get the control. Yeah, that's that's nice. So, so we still have more on monetization because. Everybody wants to know how much YouTubers make. I don't know why. Like, I'm not working for you. <laughs> All right, but we're going to talk about that. How much, you know, he, he's going to give us range. Nobody's going to give you exact figure, right? So how much he makes, the range he makes at 40,000 subscribers and about 1.6 million views. And how much I make at um, 6,000 subscribers and barely 250,000 views, right? So we're going to talk about that in a moment. But before then, Emmanuel, tell me, what are the challenges like Like whenever I ask YouTubers? If I, you guys, you should always ask YouTubers, what are the challenges you face in making this video? Because that's one part that nobody really cares. Okay, but we're going to learn about the challenges that he faces while making those videos, especially as a Nigerian YouTuber. So, Okay, um, as far as Nigeria is concerned, the major challenge I have one is never a network <laughs> you know you don't always have it when you need it and exactly it really affects a lot also network nigerian network providers will wait for when you need them the most <laughs> and then you can just be recording a video and you notice that your network <laughs> is no longer going yeah so i think basically those are the major challenges if i need to create a video i just gather myself and create a video yeah okay but I think these are the two major things that almost every Nigerian faces. Seriously. Yeah. Okay, especially when you're living in Lagos. <laughs> okay. All right. So the next one is how do you measure your success as a YouTuber? All right. You know, th this question is quite important because as much as I have my view though, but before I share my view, let's hear from Emmanuel. How do you measure your success as a YouTuber? Okay, for me, you know, a lot of people tend to look at different things. Some look at number of subscribers, mm -hmm. and some look at number of views. What I really look at is the watch time, 
okay. how long people that's the metric that i look at the most because if your whole time can go up mm -hmm. definitely your number of subscribers will go up oh, yeah definitely means you are getting views so that's the metric i'm um, really obsessed over watch mm -hmm. time in the last eight days in the last one month one year so that's what i'm most times that's what i'm looking at yeah okay can you can you do what do you think you know with regards to subscribers versus views do you think that the more subscribers you have the more views that is going to guarantee more views not really <laughs> usually you have like usually on the normal day you have a lot more people watching your channel yeah. than people are subscribed actually exactly. subscribed to your channel. Yes. exactly but the number of subscribers does not does not correlate with the number of, of views. views the only advantage of having a lot of subscribers is once you post a video you have a lot then your video is in front of a lot of a people. Lot people but that does not always translate into a lot of views mm. yeah that's 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 true right i think my my most popular video is at thirty thousand views but i have just, just six thousand subscribers yeah. right but um although that if you ask some people the the their measure of success on youtube they always think is subscribers subscribers but it's not it's, it's not it's not youtube yeah as he said that you're gonna have a lot of people that are going to first see or get to see that you have if a video drop so yeah. people those people if you check your analytics even the i even heard mkbhd i think complain that the number of persons who are subscribed to his channel do not watch his video like they yeah. unsubscribe like the people yeah. who are not subscribed if you check it you see that you have most of always people more yeah. unsubscribe, unsubscribe. Exactly. so i think the the best thing you should do as a beginner is to focus on your content just yeah. make sure you're creating quality content and yeah. we, we also talked about how to research topics before you create them you don't just jump and create a video that you feel like ah this video is good you need to make sure that that's a video that people want to watch all right you could have 1000 subscribers okay and a video in your channel as it's so as a monetized channel yes. though, and a video in your channel is doing hundred thousand exactly. it's that views that you know, the measures the, the amount of money you the make money you make is exactly the number of views Ex not not exactly, like number of subscribers exactly yeah. that's that's awesome okay now chat gpt is in existence so you want to know Emmanuel, how many times have you used chat gpt to number one generate ideas for your content don't lie yes. <laughs> and number two how many times have chat gpt written a script for your channel okay the truth is i've not really looked at chat gpt that much okay because yeah. i noticed you've not done a video on chat i've not done a video on chat yes, yes. and that's because i have a number of ai tools i was already using, using even okay. before ChatGPT chat GPT even okay. came onto the scene so i've not really used it for maybe title generation okay. or script generation i've tried it once or twice for okay. you All know the research okay. and all of that but so far i've not really dig deep into chat gpt okay. yeah but it's really that does not mean you not check true. it out yeah. some people should check out true. it i right. use chat gpt yeah. guys this question is generated by chat gpt <laughs> <laughs> right. so um I've, you know since chat gpt came out i think yeah. i've done a couple of videos well just one long form video and about chat GPT. yeah about chat gpt and i was amazed at the result right like that's the only video that in six days it gave me a thousand views wow right so wow. i think you yeah. should do it you video. know it's something that's trending yeah it's always good to create videos it's, around it's, yeah. exactly yeah. there was this thing that was trending on tiktok um um this thing that you know women take off their clothes and you know shoot a video and then retro retro something right okay. so a lot of people were looking for how to remove that retro some i've forgotten the actual okay. thing okay and i went to youtube and discovered that a channel right i've not even done up to a thousand views has done in four days of creating this, that video had done almost trending. half a million yeah. views on that one video yeah right so that you guys you always need to pay attention for to, trends yes trends yeah. around your niche though because some persons actually try to whatever that is in a jump there's a it, jump yeah, on it yeah. you can always try to configure a topic to you know to matter to your niche right yeah. so that you know you don't go off your boundary your niche in yeah. the name of trying to jump yeah. on a trend so if yeah. you please don't forget about that trend so that's a good one so the next question can you discuss any collaboration or projects you've worked on outside of youtube if it's business wise yeah mm -hmm. i'm running a business okay. like aside from youtube i do business okay uh, yeah so, so can we know the business so that you know in case someone wants to reach out to you in terms of that okay basically first the, the major one i have a facebook ad agency where i run facebook ads for people guys he's good. He's, good. Yeah. he's good he's good he's good he's good yeah so help people help businesses get results with yeah. ad and all awesome. of that yeah so that's like the major one 
but some other side also freelancing okay. you know some affiliate marketing here and there okay. and all of that okay uh, like can you tell us like how many gigs or contracts or projects you've gotten via youtube like the person saw your video and okay actually ex before i started youtube yeah so I'll get clients from Facebook and all yeah. of that. Maybe they'll see my ads. Yeah. Yeah. But since I started to a bulk of my clients like Confirmed. a lot. Wow. Because they'll see your video and then they'll be like, Wow, okay. Yeah. Instead of teaching me just get it done for me. Help me do it, yeah. Awesome. So, like I can I can attest to that, right? Like before I started making before I got into the YouTube partnership program, I, mm -hmm. I was I was losing a lot of money from YouTube. YouTube. Exactly. Yeah. Because even from different parts of the country, right? A lot of persons have reached out to even me. from outside the country. People, yes, yeah. of course. Mostly yeah. outside the country. Yeah. Those are the ones that pay you good money though. So um I think a guy had reached out to me to set up Telegram bot. That was That's through true. my most popular video in part. So the person just said, please, I have a, tel a telegram bot for crypto projects. So okay. please set it up for us and that, you know. He paid quite a good amount of money. Yeah. That didn't take me anything to make. And also YouTube gives you this type of authority or credit ability that people yes, don't need to even yeah. doubt your yeah. experience exactly. or expertise in exactly. that thing you know, yeah. i can't come and i still co currently work with infinix as a content partner and mm -hmm. it's through youtube that they found me and i'm um, amongst a lot of other things so yeah. for me you know as a small youtuber guys like i said these are forty thousand about six thousand okay as small youtubers and you can do all of this and so yeah. monetization on youtube is just one Thought. one of the ways you know, to make money one like one over ten like a bulk of your money is not even going to come exactly. from i've made more money for two other like other affiliate means. promotions or awesome. selling more products than from from white people and assets yeah so. that's that's the same so you guys you always need to you know cast your mind a little off that white people money some people just use that to just equip their studio though right that's, that's what you do the the good thing is it's it comes you know that it's going to come every month yeah that's a good thing you know if let's say dance are reaching out to you for a video mm -hmm. you don't know where that when they are going to come, come next yeah. but you are sure that your assets money mm -hmm. is going to come to get every month yeah. you. so that's that's great okay so next up how do you stay current and adapt to changes in um youtube platform youtube algorithm so first off i would like you to quickly explain okay. right your own understanding of the youtube's algorithm okay for me the algorithm basically first of all it's the computer that controls the platform it decides which video gets seen by who mm -hmm. and at what time mm -hmm. and basically what the algorithm wants to do is to get people to stay mm -hmm. on youtube exactly. for as long as possible yeah the exactly. longer people stay on youtube the more money youtube makes, YouTube makes as and a business the more money YouTube has yeah well. so that's just what it wants to do mm -hmm. and then it tries to look for videos mm -hmm. that will help it achieve that yeah and then it rewards the videos mm -hmm. that helps it achieve that goal so it's just constantly driving towards that goal of getting people to spend time on youtube mm -hmm. so if you want the algorithm to promote your videos try to create videos that will keep people on youtube mm -hmm. that's that's one of the biggest secrets and big youtubers like mr beast used to mm -hmm. say this all the time create videos that people watch, want to watch yeah the algorithm will take care of itself it's only <laughs> like small youtubers that are usually obsess algorithm yes, algorithm exactly. a lot of big youtubers that's not really their problem they just want to create good content yeah yeah so but you know, you know, when we compare big YouTubers and small YouTubers, mm -hmm. you know, some people actually think, especially small YouTubers, you know, I've seen someone come to complain to me, I've been on YouTube for so so and so years, yeah. nothing. And you now get to ask the person, how many videos do you create a yeah. month? And you get to like yeah, a, a lot of people do reach out to me that way. And then if you check their channel, the last time they uploaded a video was six months ago, three months ago. That. Yeah, so it doesn't work that way actually. If you are not growing there's something you're not doing exactly right okay so if you are doing things right mm -hmm. no matter how you notice growth and improvement, yeah exactly exactly okay so what do you have to say about youtube seo okay now youtube seo is one very powerful tool like that's one of the things that have helped me a lot um getting views getting subscribers i try to always you know optimize my videos you know youtube is a search engine yeah the biggest search engine just after google yeah. the second biggest yeah. so i always try to get my videos to show up on search results a lot mm -hmm. of people are searching for stuff on exactly. youtube exactly and if you are a small creator you don't really have a lot of subscribers yeah your videos are not popping up too much exactly. on people's home feed exactly. but you can get them to show up on search exactly. results yeah mm -hmm. so use good keywords like yeah. keywords 
in good demand, high side volume, low competition, okay. and try to place your videos in that line. That's just the basic Nava SEO. And SEO is very simple as far as YouTube is concerned. Yeah. Just have a keyword in yeah. your title, title, in your description. Thumbnail. Thumbnail, yeah. Then so, tags, tags does not really matter. Are you yeah. sure tags don't matter? You know, I, heard, I, got, I hear this a lot that tags don't matter. Yes. I, I've tried it. I've tried to upload the video and being tagged. Tag the video. And yeah. did the other SEO, tags, right? Yeah. Description and the rest of them, all right? But, you know, after like, I measure for like um, 48 hours, I guess. Huh? Compared with videos that I tag, put tag. tags on, okay, I have to go back and tag the video, and it started doing well. Well, so although that I I, I still feel it contributes, but though it's not not the as whole much. thing. Yeah, yes, because I've seen much. videos that you know by some creators, no tags, because you know you can find yeah. that out on yeah. like no tags, but it still does well. It does well. Yeah, you know what YouTube just wants. What YouTube needs is data. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they need data to be able to identify what's in this video mm -hmm. and who is this video for. Mm -hmm. So things like title, yeah. tag, description it's just helps give YouTube yeah. the kind of information to work to yeah. work with. Yeah. But at some point it becomes less like if you have a lot of people watching your videos, yeah. YouTube can understand the video from the type of people watching the video. So yeah. it does not need tag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, but it's very I do include tags in my videos. I don't just leave it blank, but According to YouTube, it's not that important. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not that important. But yes. please, I would still advise. Please just add it. <laughs> okay, right. And then it another looks... thing is mentioning the keyword. In exactly, your video. especially yeah. the first five seconds. So there, I want to mention video. the keyword you yeah. are going for. It's very important. Yeah. So, so persons may be like, how does YouTube translate what you're saying? But then you need to remember that captions. Yeah, so YouTube is actually able to transcribe what they have AI in fact, there is even transcription right now yes. on YouTube. So there's a button you can click it to transcribe everything, everything. the person says. Exactly. So that's why what you say is exactly. very important. All right, let's talk about the money time. <laughs> let's talk about the money time. But before we talk about how much he makes, all right, I'm gonna ask first, aside the partnership, how else do you make money on YouTube? Okay. Um, just like I've mentioned before, help you get clients because okay. most people get to see you yeah. and what you do. Mm -hmm. Then I have courses that I sell and get to get see, get to get a lot of um, students through YouTube. You know, when they watch your video, I have the link there in my description mm -hmm. and just check out my store and get any course they want to get. Mm -hmm. Then that's two. Then affiliate marketing, mm -hmm. where you get to maybe talk about a product, talk about an app, talk about a website, mm -hmm. and then add your affiliate link. It's yeah. a very good way to make money. Yeah. Because instead of paying for ads, mm -hmm. now you have organic traffic yeah. coming to you, and then you can take advantage of that. Then, you know, partnership with brands. Yeah. There are businesses that will reach out to you and you make a video for us yeah. about our app, our website. That's also one good way to make money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically, I've mentioned. Uh, five. Yeah, you've mentioned quite a lot. You've mentioned quite a lot. Okay. Oh, for me, I just as all you've said, right? I've I've made money basically with all of them. I've been contacted, done yeah. a service, Definitely. right? Um, I've done affiliates. Like one of my you know most popular video is a video I did for seller, right? And a lot of people are using the affiliate link. Yeah. So once in a while, I see yes, yeah. some elder you know, too, but it, it still serves, all um, right? Yeah. So the next one is that, uh, like I said. This one may not make you money, but it's good for your brand. Brand authority, brand credibility that being a YouTuber gives you, gives you right? Yeah. I've gotten a speaking engagement via my YouTube channel, right? So that's that's then brand um sponsorships. Yeah. And there are some videos that I have made on my channel that are sponsored. I don't like to say they are sponsored yeah. so that people don't think, ah, you yeah, you made money from these. And I don't say that. I see yeah. other videos, but I don't. I just don't, okay? Now, there's also another thing that I actually enjoy as a YouTuber. Like there are some applications, software, tools that yeah, other people get to pay for, right? But yeah, for reviewing the the the, the platform, yeah. you get access to it like for free, right? Like premium um, version of that app for free. That one I really enjoy. It. Okay, <laughs> I really enjoy it. even though that some of those tools I don't really use them. Okay, so I think that that's for me. That's that for me. I've not yeah. had any brand. Um, What's it called? Is it brand ambassadorship? Okay. I have not gotten no, that, 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 that brand sponsorship. When, no, the that's yeah. That's right. Okay. How much have you made? How much do you make on average on YouTube every month? Okay. Um, first of all, I would like to clarify that 
because I have 40,000 subscribers and I'm making mm -hmm. this amount of money, does not mean another channel Cannot with the same number of subscribers, mm -hmm. even with the same number of views, yeah. is going to make that kind of money. Exactly. Right? So, the more, depending on the number of views, like the number of views that came to the channel, maybe 500 or more, 1,000, or five, and all of that. Yeah. Per month. Okay, okay. $500, $1,000. Yeah. Yes. yes. On average, so that's between five hundred to one thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah. You guys, that's huge, right? That's that's huge. That's for his channel, my channel. <laughs> How do I make a month? All right. Um, this month have actually been a very good month for me on yeah. on YouTube, right? And uh, you know, on an average, I think since I got monetized yeah, barely last year and um, every month I think I range between I'm not going to tell you <laughs> <laughs> I like to keep that to myself because I'm not yeah. working for you <laughs> I'm not yeah, working for anybody right I like to keep that to myself Emmanuel it's been so awesome having this conversation with you it's been so awesome so the last question now yeah. is one question that I've always wanted to ask youtubers especially you you're almost a full-time youtuber yeah. right yeah. so um how do you manage your personal life i always say that youtubers live a different kind of life my wife will always be like you need to sleep you need to sleep you know but the truth of the matter is as a youtuber i don't know if it happens to you your mind don't sleep yes it's like you're always thinking of the next content like the next idea if you check my notice board here you see lots of short um content ideas yes, yeah. long you know your mind is always working yeah, yeah. you know but you know unlike me that is married though so tell me how do you balance your personal life and also your life as a creator okay um you know i have some kind of leverage i'm okay. not married oh yeah yeah is that leverage then yeah it's, it's leverage because be i have my wife have... is my director she's shooting the video right here. i have more time you, you want to you know spend time with your wife yeah. outside of youtube so exactly that's leverage for <laughs> for me then it's not as if i have a job yeah. that i wake up and go to mm -hmm. every other business is online mm -hmm. and a lot of control so yeah. i get to work let's say if i'm creating a video i just work on the video till i'm done mm -hmm. like not having to break in break out and yeah. all of that so i have a lot of time yeah. putting in and the more time you can put into your videos yeah. the better your videos will be yeah, and the exactly. more videos you'll be able to exactly to create so managing mm -hmm. life and uh, youtube yeah they are just it's just like saying it yeah it's the same yeah <laughs> it's the youtube same. is my life my oh, life is youtube wow, and wow. They are just, i wish yeah. i could say that yeah. but nonetheless for me as number one a married man number two as a businessman that actually runs yeah. you know, a business outside, outside yeah. youtube that takes me out of the house and how i you know balance with my youtube you know one of the things i always talk about time management yeah. you know one thing i always believe in life is everybody have the same amount of time exactly. every day 24 yeah. hours for you 24 hours for me 24 hours for my wife 24 hours for you to the viewer it's just about you being able to break Manage, down your 24 yeah. hours based on all the things you do with your life yeah. right so even not pastor so i can i will have to factor a moment you know a time in a day to church activities so if i'm a doctor i need to factor in time i need to be spending in the hospital or spending with the patients and the rest of them okay so as a youtuber i have my own time you know youtube is not my life and my life is only <laughs> but there was a time i was like that yes. right yeah. but i still know that i need to you know build my business outside of youtube i need time for my family and then i need time for youtube okay so most times i do so most most of my content ideation research i do them in the night okay although that you know the person lightness to me is always like drop this food man. <laughs> but you know but um i still have to you know factor Wait, in yeah. that time and by god's grace i've actually been sticking with my um one video per week i can't do three videos no i can't no i'll be shooting myself in the leg all right i can't yeah. i can't okay i wish i can okay but most times i do one long form then one and the shot, shot yes, and the rest of them i do that as well okay so i just have to in 24 hours dedicate a period in time okay for you to dedicate a time for my personal life for my yeah. family dedicated time for my business so that is how i balance my 
own um YouTube versus personal life. And so you as a small YouTuber or growing YouTuber stay single. on this don't stay single. Okay. So you tell tell us on the comments down below. How do you balance YouTube and your other life? So if you're a, a full time YouTuber, tell me I still want to know if everything you wake up on YouTube and everything I want to know, right? And if you're you know have YouTube as a part time thing, also tell me tell us how you balance your youtube life with your personal life thank you so much guys for watching so finally on um, last words short of uh, small youtubers are viewing right now there are some yeah. people that have 10 subscribers like you right you that are about to comment 10 subscribers 100 yeah. subscribers what do you have to tell them the basic thing is don't stop uh, yeah but it's not just don't stop keep getting better how mm. do you make things better exactly. what are you missing exactly. and all of that so don't stop keep getting better mm. and go to come awesome yeah awesome okay and from me consistency is yeah. the game youtube is a game of consistency consistency is the key if you cannot you know maintain at least if you have to do one video a month it still works but yeah. your growth yeah. cannot be compared with someone who does one video a week exactly. your growth cannot be compared with someone who does every day be, yeah. all right so however way that's gonna work for you just make sure you're consistent with your content and like yeah. you said grow daily grow daily okay it's time for the audience retention test so if you watch this video to this point i would like you to drop on the comment i'm going to win on youtube if you're a new youtuber or you know thriving youtuber or aspiring youtuber drop it right there i'm going to win on youtube thank you guys for watching up to this point you can also still subscribe to Emmanuel's channel i'm going to link it down on the description and i'll catch you on the next one was that video helpful you might want to watch more tutorial videos on my channel like the one i released recently and then hit the subscribe button up here and ring the bell so you always be the first to know when i release a fresh video that is if you want to keep watching videos from me and of course you want to <laughs> my name is frederick thank you for watching and see you on the next one